First, he came up with SpaceX. Then he came up with Tesla. But the sky really is the limit for Elon Musk because now he's come up with a brand new idea for Neuralink, a chip that can connect to the human brain and to the internet to help control machines using just the human brain. Unbelievable, right? Well, Elon Musk is about to make it possible. So what exactly is Neuralink and how will it work? Well, stay tuned until the end of this video because today I'll tell you all there is to know about Neuralink. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Simply put, Neuralink is a small device that will be surgically implanted into your brain. With it, you'll be able to communicate with machines and even control them directly from your brain. Basically, with this chip, Elon Musk wants to control machines using only the power of thought. You won't even have to move to control machines, your mind will do it all for you. It could also be used to help cure different medical problems because it could help study electrical signals in the brain and come up with solutions to fix the medical problems. At first, the aim was to make humans compete in a world where artificial intelligence is taking over. But later on, it's become focused on helping people with brain-related disorders as well. The company is planning to start with patients suffering from quadriplegia due to spinal cord injuries. These patients will get four chips implanted in their brain which will be able to connect to 4,000 different neurons. But in Elon Musk's brain, the benefits go beyond the disabled. He thinks that technology might make human beings become cyborgs by achieving a connection with artificial intelligence. That's something he believes is important for human survival in today's world. Anyway, the company was actually founded in 2016 and since then they've been working to develop this technology. And this year they've actually made a working demo of the chip. But it has only been tested on animals until now successfully. No demo has been done on humans though. Neuralink is basically a small N1 chip set which is 4 millimeters in diameter and it has various wires with electrodes and insulation for the wires. If you're wondering what the electrodes do, well, don't worry, you'll find out soon. Anyway, to surgically insert the chip in your brain, the company has also built a robot. The surgery of inserting a chip in your brain is very delicate. That's why a robot has been built for that which can perform the surgery accurately under the supervision of a neurosurgeon. So I'm sure you're all wondering how exactly does this chip work? Well, the 4 millimeter square chip will be implanted into the skull. Attached to the chip are wires that are even thinner than human hair. These wires will reach into the brain. The wires will be placed close to the important parts of the brain and they'll be able to detect messages as they are relayed between neurons. In order to understand how the chip works, you'll need to know what neurons are. Well, your brain has to send different messages to different parts of your body and that is done through neurons. These neurons in the brain connect with each other to form a large network and they can even communicate with each other using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. This chemical reaction generates an electric field and if electrodes are placed nearby, the reactions can be recorded. The electrodes can understand the electric signal in your brain and translate it into an algorithm. This algorithm could be read by machines. So that's how a Neuralink will take a thought you have and send it to the machine. You won't even have to ask Alexa or Google to do something, you just have to think it through and it'll be done. According to the company, the N1 chip is able to connect with 1000 different brain cells and a patient can have as many as 10 N1 chips implanted in their brain. The chips will be connected wirelessly to a wearable device that will be hooked over the ear of this user, pretty much like a hearing aid and this device will contain a Bluetooth radio and a battery. For the first device, the company says it will have to be implanted through proper neurosurgery, but eventually, when it gains enough experience, the chips will be able to be inserted safely and virtually through small incisions by the robot surgeon. And yes, this whole process will be completely painless. Also, the chip could be charged at night, just like a smartphone, and you could use it normally throughout the day. Up till now, the chip has been successfully inserted into a monkey, a rat, and even three pigs. And Elon Musk is planning to insert it into a human brain by the end of this year. Okay, so address the elephant in the room. What are the risks of this technology? I mean, a chip being inserted into your brain, is it actually safe? Well, Neuralink isn't the first company to try making brain-computer interface technologies. It's been done before and they haven't been completely successful. So Neuralink will definitely need to learn from their successes and failures to make this chipset as completely safe as possible. The threads that are connecting the N1 chip to the electrodes need to be very flexible. If they aren't, it could damage the surrounding brain tissue. And also if the company is planning to give the technology to patients already suffering from medical conditions, there can be a huge risk considering their immune systems are already compromised. However, Elon Musk has reassured people that the technology is completely safe, as safe as having laser eye surgery in his words. But the company still needs to get FDA approval before the chip can
can go public. And besides, it isn't all about the health risks. We don't know if society is even ready for this. I mean, will we want every single thought that goes in our head to be recorded by a chip? For now, it's all just an idea in Elon Musk's head. But if it actually comes true, it will change the whole world as we know it. So on that note, let's end today's video. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to give him a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, have a great day.